Welcome, everyone, to our Signs and Wonders Weekend Edition. We're so honored and blessed to have you join us today. I'm Pastor Gary Mitrick, here with Pastor J. Anthony Gilbert, yeah. Pastor Myra Bell, oh, and uh, we're glad most of all that the Lord is here, right? Yes. Amen. We're glad that you've tuned in because it's, you said the Weekend Edition. I love that we go into the weekend with a bang, with expectation, and knowing that, you know, some people kind of like just come into the end of the week, just kind of slow. Mm -hmm. We're going in with a high note to That's see what right. God's going to do. And, and I love that song that Barb Rolla was singing because God has not given us a spirit of fear. That's right. He's given us courage. That's right. He told Joshua, remember in Joshua 1, he said, yeah. be strong and very courageous. Yes. Pastor Meyer, he didn't tell him that once or twice. He said three different times, yeah. be strong and very courageous. And I think that's a great word for all of us right. because we all face challenges right. and things that we cannot run from, but we've got to confront and face and be champions for Christ in. That's right, that's right. And uh, I'm just glad that it's the Spirit of God 
who will empower us to be brave, who will empower us to be bold. I know I was a scary person as far as being shy and socially just, but how God, for his purposes, made me fearless. And now I can tell people that God will deliver you from fear and give you boldness in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Uh, there's a proverb that says that we are as bold as a lion. I like that. And you know, God hasn't given us that spirit of fear. That's right. And Pastor Jay, I always say, if God hasn't given it to me, I don't have to receive it. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. That's right. Only take what it is that God has for your life. He hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us Come on. power, love, and a sound mind. That's you know, right. fear is sent to paralyze us. That's, that's right. right. I believe when fear comes out, and he told Timothy to stir up the gift. It's amazing. When he was talking about fear, he talked about That's stirring good. it up. So even today, it's time for you to stir up the gift. That's what we have worship here. That's why the word comes out. All right. of that is just stirring up the gift, setting the atmosphere right for signs and wonders to follow. Come That's on. right. That is so good. And please know we always have our prayer partners available. They are waiting right now even to pray with you. The number is there on the oh, screen, 888 yeah. 665-4483 and uh, you could call anytime during the program. I'm going to be sharing a message from the word and then we're going to take Holy Communion together and then after that, then we're going to bring all the requests over. We are going to pray over them and just agree that whatever it is you're believing for, that our God is able he is able to do exceeding Come on. abundantly above what we could ask or think. There's even a translation that says imagine. All right, Amen. all right. And it's according to the power That's right. that is working in us. Let God work in you today. Today, have your expectation antennas up, if you will. Listen, let God move in you in a way that he, you have not permitted him to move before because he wants to get to know you better or you, he knows you better than, than we know ourselves. There's That's no true. doubt about that. So true. But he wants you to know him better. Mm -hmm. So what we are talking about today, you can have it. You can have it and it's free for the asking. Now, Jesus paid the price for it, but we thank God that we can walk in it. I thank God for the victory. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and, and, and Pastor Jay, that's why we love to take communion because it was there at Calvary that the Lord said, it is finished. It's paid yes, in sir. full. Amen. Amen. And I love what you always do. You always talk about how the table that we set, make this an altar here. Not only do we take communion here, we also take your prayer requests. And I think about Psalm 23, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine. And so we pull up a chair to the table, not only to be fed, we cast our burdens there before the Lord. We receive holy communion. But what I love mostly about the 23rd Psalm is at that table, he said, thou will anoint my head with oil. Mm -hmm. And what happens after that? My cup runneth over. I believe today you've tuned in because there's an anointing for overflow in your life. Yeah. Don't allow the spirit of fear to keep you down. Don't allow the struggles of this past week to keep you down. Stir up the gift. There's a fresh anointing coming across the airwaves right now because there is overflow scheduled for their lives, Pastor Gary. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you know what? Let's celebrate what makes Cornerstone Television different from so many yes, other yes programs and stations and networks. And it is what you just mentioned. It's the anointing. That's right. That's it. It's God's Glory. presence. Mm. His, his, his presence is not on those secular programs. That's right. It's not on the news networks. Oh, but it is here <laughs> because his anointing is on yes. the word of God. Bless God. And as we pray, as we worship, as we speak the word, and send it to go forth. Something goes out over the airwaves. People may not see it right. with their natural eyes, but Pastor Jay, they could sense it in their spirit, yeah. right? Yeah. That anointing that destroys the yokes 
and removes the burden. So whatever you need, this show is per perfectly set up for you to receive a miracle in every area of your life. Come and on. at the end, we're gonna set these prayer requests here. Come so on. we need you to call in. We wanna have this table completely filled with your request because the anointing is going out to destroy every yoke that's been, been trying to put upon your life and every burden is going to be removed today. And like Pastor Gary mentioned, you may not see it, but I can tell you this, you, by the time you leave this show, something different is gonna happen in their yes, life. Yes, yeah. And God allows us to feel him. I, that is amazing to me that God allows us to know him yeah. intimately. Amen. God has that for you. We can move so close to him that his presence, you mm. feel his mm. presence even when you're alone. Yes. You don't have to have a crowd around you for that. God's presence being in your midst, you being in his midst and hearing what he would say to you. Mm. Amen. So let's pray together. Lord, we do just welcome yes. Thank you, God. the wonderful presence of oh, the Holy Lord. Spirit. Come, let the anointing permeate every room where people are watching right now. And Lord, let people be touched, encouraged, healed, yes. delivered, and yes. set free yes. by that anointing. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. Well, make sure you get your communion elements, get a cracker, a piece of bread, get some juice in a cup. We're going to take communion a little bit later. And uh, if you need prayer yeah. at any time, 888-665-4483. Yes. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to go to some more worship with Pastor Myra and we'll be right back. Oh, draw me, Lord. It's just always so comforting to know that God pursues me. We're his kids. I don't have to go and find my children. I know where they are at all times. God pursued me before I was even born. He says that he knit me together in my mother's womb. I think about God pursuing me that even in the midst of all of my sin and my craziness, He still keeps coming after me. And it reminds me of the scripture that says, when your spirit said, seek my face, my heart said, Lord, thy face will I seek. I love how He wraps His arms around me and I just can feel and sense Him and I know that He's real, that I know He's working on my behalf. You know, He endured the cross for the joy of knowing that He would be able to bring me into relationship with Him. Thank you, God for loving me. And although I turn my back on you all the time, you never turn your back on me. He knows where you're at. He knows the situation you're in and he is pursuing you. He is a lovesick father. God is running after each one of us. He's running after you right now. Just turn around and embrace the plan he has for your life. And I'll after is what we're all about here at Cornerstone, and we want to find out who you are. Our new Friends Club is a place to get to know us better so we can learn about who's watching us. If you've never reached out to us before, we have a book gift to welcome you to Cornerstone. You'll also receive our monthly newsletter. Just call us and tell the prayer partner you'd like to join the new Friends Club. They'll also pray and intercede for you and your family. Call us at 888-665-4483. Connect with us today. Well, you know, we here at Cornerstone Television Network, we love new friends. And so if you'll pick up that phone right now, 888-665-4483, we've got a special gift just for you. We've had some great special anointed guests in the past that have had some wonderful books they left with us that we want to give just for you picking up the phone and saying, I want to be a friend of Cornerstone. No strings attached, no questions asked. Maybe one question, just want to know your name and we want to be a friend with you. And if you look behind me here, I'm at the Renew the Call wall. We've been praying for all of our partners since our January telethon. We had an anointed time where we're renewing the call and these people have partnered with us and we've committed to renew the call and also to pray for you these five blessings. 
in 2019. Favor, provision, health and healing, household salvation, and protection. Something happens when you link with this anointing. And so right now, we want to pray over you and those of you that have given that God will do these things in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for Livonia, Father. I thank you for Donna. And Lord, I thank you for Joan and Ed and Martha, Father. I speak protection and healing and blessing and favor over their lives, over Carol and Roy, Father God, over Nancy and Patricia, Father. I speak the blessing, the empowerment for success over their lives, that they will walk in divine health, that the blessing of God that makes rich and adds no sorrow with it would be released into their lives, that protection would be round about them, even as it was with Job, oh God, that the devil won't be able to get to them and that all of their family members will be saved today in Jesus' name. We thank you that it is done and sealed with the testimony and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Now I know that your spirit is up, your expectation is high, but we're about to go to the next level as we go to Pastor Myra. She sings, there is none like you. We're getting ready to go into the Word of God. And so let's give him some glory, magnify him, and tell him, There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your presence yes, right now. Yes. Lord, Praise you, Lord. Well, we again want to thank all of you for tuning in to our weekend edition of our Signs and Wonders program. The purpose of this program is simply to create an atmosphere where the power of the Lord is present to healed to minister to you in whatever way you need him. Remember, prayer partners are available, 888-665-4483. I want to share a message from the word of the Lord, and then we're going to partake of Holy Communion together. So please make sure you get your elements, a cracker, a piece of bread, some juice, We'll pray over them, ask the Lord to bless them and use them as we do this in remembrance of him at Calvary. But let me share out of Isaiah 43 with you today. It says, but now 
Thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel. Now let me, let me just pause there for a moment. Because from the point that he was created as Jacob, God did a work in him. Remember the word Israel means a prince of God. Mm -hmm. God formed a work in him that made him to become all that God wanted him to be. And I want you to know there's a work going on in your life right now. I always like to say the greater work is that inner work that goes on inside of us, that God is making us Christ-like. He is making us more like Him. He is forming us to be all that He has created us to be. Mm -hmm. And then He goes on to say, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, yes. you shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame scorch or kindle upon you. For I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Yes. You know, we, we all go through things, don't we? We all face challenges and obstacles, afflictions, yes. mountains in our life. And it's good to know that whatever you are facing today, you're not alone. You're not by That's yourself. Right. I love how the Lord begins that verse. I am with you. His name is Emmanuel. God mm -hmm. is with you. He said, I'll never, ever leave you nor forsake you. And whatever you're going through, you need to know this. I'm going through. All right. <laughs> I'm going through the water, through the river, through mm -hmm. the fire. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we always want to be delivered from yeah. the fiery <laughs> furnace. That's right. But even if you got to go through it, Come like on. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, yes. Yes. you need to know God will get right in the furnace with you. Jesus. I love that story in Daniel where Nebuchadnezzar says to his men, didn't we throw three men in the furnace, bound and wrapped up? And they said, oh, yes, king. He said, well, then why do I count four? Mm -hmm. mm. And they're not only four, but they're loosed. Mm. And he says, and the fourth one looks just like the Son of God. Come on, somebody. Yeah. God will go through your trials yes, with you. Yes. And he'll bring you to the other side. You know... There's been times, and we probably all have experienced this, when I've been on the highway or the turnpike, and all of a sudden this thunderstorm breaks out, and it's pouring, pouring, pouring down rain so heavy. Yes. And I remember one yes. time it was coming down so hard I could hardly see, and I, I, I just felt like fear in me said, just pull over and stop. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I heard the Lord say, just keep going. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just keep going. And you know, I drove just another minute or two and all of a sudden I was on the other side of yes, the thunderstorm. Yes, yes. It wasn't raining anymore. A, a small rainbow came out. Yeah. And if I would have stopped, mm -hmm. I would have stayed right under the outpouring. But I kept on going. And sometimes you and I, when we're feeling afraid, when we're feeling overwhelmed, yes. whenever the enemy is throwing everything, including the kitchen sink <laughs> at us, sometimes we just got to keep on going. Yeah. We got to yeah. keep on moving. We got to keep on walking forward yes, because God said, 
You're not alone. I'm with you. And God said, I'm going to bring you through this. You're going to get to the other side, Pastor Amen. Jay. Amen. You know what I love about the scripture that you read? He says, fear not, for I have redeemed you mm -hmm. and I've called you by name. You know, I think the big misconception for a lot of people is that they think if they're a Christian, that they're not going to go through things. Like you just said, we're going to be delivered right. from it. Right. But right. you know what's amazing about that story that you mentioned about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? What's amazing about it is that when they were in the fire, it should have killed them. But the sure, only sure. thing that happened is they got redeemed. The things that were on them broke off them. That's your right. fire of what you're walking through is not there to take you out. It's there to take you over. God uses opposition. He uses obstacles. He uses hardships and persecution to take you to another dimension. Yeah, That's kingdom yeah, thinking. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. different from the world. The world says, oh, how are they ever going to get out of this? There's a fourth man in the fire with you. There's a fourth man in that marriage. There's a fourth man in that hospital room. There's a fourth man in the middle of that financial hardship that's going to bring you out of this thing. And what I love about it, Pastor Gary, whenever we go through stuff as a believer, there's always a new anointing that comes forth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. come on, that's somebody. Somebody it. needs to hear this today. Somebody, you're going through a fiery furnace yourself. And you know what James said, Pastor Meyer? Count it all joy. Yeah. Count it all joy. You have to consider it joy because you know that at the end of that thing, God is going to bring you out greater. Yes. I like yes. how you said that's kingdom thinking. There are those who are uh, trying to in their flesh to give up. But God said, hold on, hold on because the fulfillment of the promise mm -hmm. is on its way. It's on its way and he's hastening to perform his word. He's hastening. Yes. He's hastening and, mm -hmm. and even that word hastening, it, it, it's, it's like an action word that, that, that God is doing that thing. God is, is happening but it is at the same time, we have to wait on him. That sounds like a paradox. It sounds like a paradox, but if we're in the position to receive what God has said, no, no matter what comes, no matter what goes, we will make it. And then on top of that, God comforts us in the midst of it so that we can help somebody else who's in trouble. That's how the body increases. That's how the body makes increase of itself. So we're all in this together. And that anointing, that, that kingdom thinking, your anointing, that empowerment to do what God called you to do will be greater. So don't give up. So we have prayer partners available. The number is there, 888-665-4483. Use your faith. Don't sit there and wallow in self-pity. Reach out and connect with somebody. You know, Pastor Jay, I'm convinced one of the greatest tactics of the enemy is isolation. Yeah. He wants to keep yes. people yeah. by themselves, out of fellowship. Don't call the prayer line. Don't get with other believers. And as long as he can keep you by yourself, come on. He has a greater way of keeping you down and discouraged. But when we pick up that phone and make a connection, something happens. Jesus so believes in the power of agreement that he left the 90 and the nine. He said, if you guys are all together, I can leave you because you can take care of each other. But it's the one that strays off, that gets isolated, that the devil's trying to pick off. And if you're one of those people that says, well, I hear from God on my own. We well, you know me and the Lord have this channel together and the Lord's isolating me for a season. The devil is alive. That's called a familiar spirit. That's right. It's isolating <laughs> you so he can pick you off because you are, right. no, you are no match for the enemy by yourself. That's right. You need the agreement of the saints. And that's why I said we're two or more are gathered together, there he would be in the midst. So pick up that phone right now, 888-665-4483, and write down what you need God to redeem. I know you're walking through the waters, you're walking through the rivers, you're passing through the fire, but what do you need God to do in you in that? He's yeah, using yeah. it to redeem you because he's called you. Don't look at your fire and your situation that there's something wrong with you. There's something right with you, and we want to pray and come into agreement with him, Pastor Gary, that God's going to redeem the situation. That That's around. right. You know, Peter said, think it not strange concerning this fiery trial that has come to test you. Yeah, yeah. God's with you. 
And you know, even when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they not only came out free of their bonds, but the Bible says they didn't even come out smelling like smoke. Oh. They didn't come out with a hair of their head even singed or scorched. And it was such a testimony that Nebuchadnezzar, remember, he put him in there because they wouldn't bow whenever the trumpets blew to bow to him. He said, wait a minute, you don't have to bow to me. Now, when you hear the trumpets, we're going to bow to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Because when you trust yes, God, yes. even in the fire, you're going to have a testimony that is going to influence others. And they're going to say, if they did it for Pastor Mara, yes. God can do it for me. That's right. That's right. That's right. But because we're no one special in the sense of our own strength. We are no one special. God takes care Come of His people. You've got to know it, you've got to believe it, and God wants to do it. God is able, no matter what, God is able. Just trust Him, trust Him. And a lot of times, Pastor Gary, it's late at night mm -hmm. that the enemy would bring when thoughts. By yourself. by yourself, trying to go to sleep, and the enemy comes in like this flood but God is there for you. Listen, take authority over those things. Take authority and bring your thoughts into captivity. Bring That's those good. thoughts into captivity. That requires some major action for you to bring them captive. They'll run off, but bring them captive. A a as you were talking about the Hebrew boys, I thought on, before they went in the fire, they said, even if God w doesn't deliver us, we're not getting ready to bow. Listen, don't you bow to your feelings. Don't bow to anything the enemy would say. God has you in his hand. Believe it. People are calling. Have you called yet? The number is 888-665-4483. We've got a few testimonies we want to share with you. You got one, well, Pastor actually, Jim? This isn't a testimony, but this is somebody that's going through the fire. They emailed us today. A woman named Susan called in for her son, Jared. He's in ministry, and uh, a little bit ago, he suffered a major migraine and um, had a really bad headaches. And as a result, uh, he's got these cysts that only three doctors in the world will even dare to operate on. And she's calling in, believing God for a miracle in his life. He can't run anymore. He can't exercise. And she's believing God for a miracle. So Jared, in the name of Jesus, we Come speak on. over your life, yes. the healing balm of Gilead. We thank you, God, that you are redeemed. Deeming this situation, oh God, we rebuke that spirit of infirmity, those cysts, we command them to go in the name of Jesus and declare that by your stripes, Jared is healed in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you're lifting his wife's faith, oh God, that you're lifting the missionary's faith that they're living with in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you're lifting Susan's faith right now. And Lord, all those that need a healing in their bodies, oh God, we release that healing anointing upon them right now and declare that by the stripes of Jesus' blood, they are healed and delivered in Jesus' name. Woo, come on. Yes. We believe in miracles. Yes, yes. Dr. Jesus is in the house. Pastor Myra. We got a prayer request from Sister Betty Kaufman, and she is just praying that everybody will keep their pledge. We pledge amounts to the, 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 the station, the broadcast. She is praying that everybody keeps their promise. She said the wall looks beautiful with all the names, and so does the Russ and Norma Bixler Center, uh, Ministry Center. It looks beautiful. And she said, I'm glad I gave towards that. And then she said, I need your prayer for strength every day. I am 93 years old and am very tired. So I'm, I want to pray for you now, Betty. Yes. Pray for your strength. Yes. God has kept you here, oh, Betty, with purpose. So we pray now, Father, you are our strength. 
You have kept Betty here for 93 years, and she has supported your work, the work of ministry. So right now, I pray that you strengthen her. Give her in her body a new surge of strength in her heart and mind, a new surge of strength so that she can continue praying her prayers being answered, her prayers manifesting in people's lives. So we thank you and we praise you for Betty's testimony of your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 You know, Pastor Gary, there's something that maybe you could speak to. Someone called in and said, please God, help me. I'm lost, I'm angry, and can't get back to God. Wow. Well, I want you to know that you are never ever so far from God that it's too late or too far for you to return. His arms are wide open to you right now. And you just need to take one step toward God. When that prodigal, the Bible says he came to himself. And that's what it sounds like you're doing. You're, you, you're realizing, I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't, I don't want to stay in this situation anymore. And that prodigal said, when he just made that decision, said, I'm going to return back to my father's house. The Bible says the father just took off running toward his son and said, kill the fatted calf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my son that was lost has been found. Jesus. And I'm going to pray with yeah. you, and I want to pray with anybody else that maybe you are just in need of wanting to change and get out of that place of anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, whatever rut you may find yourself in. You know, a rut is nothing more than a shallow grave. Mm. Wow. But if you rise up and take one step toward God, I believe you'll find he's a God of mercy. Yes. He's a God of forgiveness. And he's a God of great, great, great love for you. So pray this prayer with me right now. Just simply say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I confess, I confess all, of my anger, all of my anger, my bitterness, my bitterness unforgiveness, unforgiveness, and all of my sins. And all of my sins. I need your help, Lord. I need your help. Lord. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you for grace. I ask you for grace. That I can forgive myself. I can forgive myself. And the others that have hurt me. And the others that have hurt me. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I commit my life to you. I commit my life to you. I need peace. I need peace. I need your presence. I need your presence. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. And fill me now. And fill me now. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Lord, I, I just sever every soul yes. tie yes. Yes. that's yes. holding you to the world that's Jesus. holding you from coming back to God. I pray right now for a divine drawing, a magnetism yes. of the Holy Spirit that he will just draw you with loving kindness and you will know you are forgiven mm. yes. and you are free from that anger. You are Jesus. free from those ill feelings that yes. have overwhelmed your heart in Jesus Christ's name. Yes. Jesus. If you prayed that prayer, why don't you call a prayer partner? We, we, we would like to just send you some information to help you. It's not a one-time decision. It's called a walk with God. That's it. Because it's made up of many steps. 
And if you would call, you could even just give your first name. We just want to pray for you and keep you in our prayers. And I just want to say to you, if you've been out of church and been out of fellowship, why don't you find a church this Sunday? 